today's vlog I'm starting it in this room of the this room of the house I've got a smudge on the camera why do I start the vlog with a smudge I kissed it last night that's why I stopped kissing the camera lots of you guys have asked it's because I forget to clean it and start it with a big smudge give me one second guys there we go probably doesn't look much different but there it stopped whistling it's not cool <laughs> I bet you guys loved this wallpaper when I first put it up and I bet you're sick of the sight of it now aren't you kind of getting that way <laughs> so I'm spending the day or hopefully not really spending the actual day but spending some time in here this morning I really want to get this wall painted I'm stressing about the color if you watched yesterday's vlog I went for a pink I feel like I should have gone for the beige I feel like we're gonna be going back I'm still doing it I'm going for a pink Chris thinks I should just just forget it and go back and buy beige and oh, yeah. only put beige on. Yeah. I think I should, because I've bought the pink now and I can't take it back, and I might love it when it's is up. It just a, is, it just, is it not just a pre-made colour, or is it a mix that you had done? It's a mixture I've, so I've had made, so I can't take it back. So I feel like I should, I can't take it back anyway, so I feel like I might as well use it. What if I put it up and it's amazing? I'd love that to happen. I'd love it. But if it's not, we're going to white prime it again and then go back and get a beige and then use that pink somewhere else maybe in the downstairs bathroom i don't know somewhere else anyway i'm about to do it fingers crossed it turns out okay <laughs> We've just done, or I've just done the first coat of the terracotta colour and I kind of am feeling pretty good about it. So it's not exactly the colour that it's going to stay because obviously paint looks different from when it's wet to when it's dried. So it is going to go a slightly different, I think a slightly darker colour and then obviously we need to do two coats and obviously I need to fill in like all the gaps that I need to do with a brush. But so far, I actually think I made the right decision. Let me show you guys. So I know it's a bit whoa and in your face, but I kind of feel like if this was beige, and obviously it's a very white room, I just feel like, and they've got white furniture as well, I just feel like there'd be too much white. And if you get close, you can see, whoa, careful JC, okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Good oh boy. You can see that actually it matches perfectly to some of the colors that are in, in the, um, in the wallpaper like that's a perfect match so I actually think it looks pretty nice it's guys it's do you like it? it is do you like it yeah but maybe you paint it no you don't <laughs> okay guys the first layer of paint is done I'm laughing because you guys will not find this funny. I'm just gonna say that right now because I can't show you it. But outside of our electric gate, we've got like two beams, two wall beams. So when the gate's a little bit open, <laughs> you can just see the top of one of the wall beams. And I just said to Chris, what's that package? He's like, what package? And I was like, that really high up one there. Cause it's like right on the height of our top, top of the gate. And he was like, it's a wall beam. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it looked like a cardboard box with tape around it. Anyway, I told you wouldn't find that funny. The top. The first layer of paint is done, including the all annoying, um, uh, what's it called? What's it called, babe? Is that your phone or mine? It was Chris's phone, and the word I was thinking of was sellotape, masking tape. So I've masking taped all around, just waiting for this to dry now. So happy I managed to get that done whilst Mila slept, because, and Isabel's watching her, by the way, so Isabel's sat in the same room as her. But, oh, I didn't ever think I would get it done. So the first day is done, just need to wait for that to dry. I'm already in love with it. I know that beige would have looked amazing too, but I decided to take the risk. I always envisioned it before I put the paper on the wall, having like a pink there, because obviously this is a baby girl's nursery and I, it, it's quite grown up paper anyway. So I kind of wanted to bring some pink in and make it super girly, basically. Beige would still look, and neutral colours would still look amazing with that wallpaper, especially for like maybe someone a bit older, someone that's not quite as daring. But I'm really glad that I went with I'm really glad. Hopefully when the second coat's on, I'm like 
done deal my mind's made up but right now I don't feel like I need to rush out and get like a more neutral colour I think this is perfect oh let me just pop you guys back down there because also how cool is this so I got this beautiful wall plaque from a f Instagram small business called Claire's Vintage Treasures it's actually the same page that we got Isla's flowers from that are in her bedroom I do have some flowers for Mila as well however they'll be going around a quote above like the dressing storage table instead of on this wall with this because obviously this wall has got way too many flowers on already and it just took way too much but this paint color here is actually like a rose gold but it looks exactly the same color as the bottom paint look how perfectly this matches okay i just tried to set the camera up and it didn't work at all but basically when that's on the wall it looks so perfect with that paint in certain lights i absolutely love it i think that's going to go there Hopefully it doesn't look too much because the wallpaper's quite busy already, but I really did want this plaque above her bed, so fingers crossed it doesn't look too much when the room's complete. So Chris is out here on the landing building her little storage thing, and I just do want to point out also that I have been begging Chris to do this since before Mila was born. In fact, I think we bought this about a week after we moved in. And he's like, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. And then, funnily enough, he wants to work on the van today. So he came up to me and said, if I build you that storage thing for Mila's room, can I go and spend a couple of hours doing the van? <laughs> Com compromise. No, not bear hours. Bear hours on the van. Not bear hours. One hour. One hour. <laughs> bear hours is such a bizarre quote. Bear. Also, I just filmed the whole of the last thing with black down my face, so... Nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna go and check on Mila now and have some lunch. And then hopefully, after we've had a bit of a play, we'll be able to get her back down for another nap and I can do quote, quote two, quote two. <laughs> I, my brain's gone so, what, what am I thinking of saying? I can't, I'm literally, what is it? What is it? I don't know what you're thinking of saying. The, the paint when I'm doing another, co oh, coat two. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I just came down to make everyone some lunch. And Isabel said that Mila woke up and started like crying and so she picked her up to get back to sleep so that I could carry on upstairs and look how cute this is. So cute. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. I tried to get a picture of her, but why is she look like a potato from my camera angle? So cute. She always looks like a potato on camera. No, I don't know why it does, but it makes her face like, yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Knows. He's probably getting hungry now to be fair. Adorable. Lunch done. Paint pretty much dry. Did just start doing the second coat down there. I'm trying to rush around and do it all because as soon as Mila starts crying I'll have to go back again. But I'm just about to the unit that Chris was building is now finished. So I'm about to move all of this for like the millionth time. Millionth time and set up that unit. Honestly, I'm so happy with this colour. Like seriously, I was worried that I'd messed up and I, I honestly couldn't have picked a more perfect colour. I, I think it's amazing. It matches so perfectly. I'm so happy with it. I need to think of a way to introduce that colour somewhere else in this room because every other wall in here is just plain white. I'm not sure how to do it because of the panelling. Like it's not like I can just do like some scalloped walls. I did think about doing scalloped like from the ceiling. The, I feel like in this room, if I was to do it like up on the ceiling, going all the way around, number one, I think it might be too faffy just because of how detailed this wall is over here. And number two, it would be so difficult to do because you basically got to do it with your hands. So with for Islas, there's like, there's no tool to make it easy. So with Islas, I basically just stenciled around a pan lid and then free painted it with my hand. Anyway, I think that would be too messy. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to go and get Mila back. That didn't last long, <laughs> bless her. And, um, and then hopefully I'll still get a chance to move all this and set up her unit. So Chris is now outside doing the van. I don't know if he was rushing because Chris doesn't usually make mistakes on building things like this. However, I just came and noticed, I don't know if you can even see, but there's holes like in this unit. And I was, I just sat there looking thinking that, that, why would you have holes in it? Like that totally ruins the look of the unit. So I took out this drawer and looked on the underside. There's no holes there. I think he's done it wrong. <laughs> I think he's put the shelf. Surely that should be the other way so there's no holes on show. Oh, look, that's so annoying. If, if I was to get him to come in now and change that around, he would literally 
Cry. Cry. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave it like it is for now. <laughs> and then I'll pretend to notice it later. I'm like, oh, you've done that wrong. Oh, we just mind flipping it over. <laughs> no, but like, you've done that wrong. That's because you were rushing, because you wanted to get out to your van. Please, can you sort that out? <laughs> I'll say this nights, tell it in a letter, stamp and mail it out. We did our best, couldn't have done better. I think we should be proud. But you held me down when I was living up. Back and forth, but now. Oh my gosh, hot is not the word. Why does it suddenly get so unbearably hot in this house? <laughs> oh my goodness, I think that's as much as we're doing on Mila's room today. I was about to say Isla again. I think that's as much as we're doing on Mila's room. She's getting a little bit fussy as well as just holding her now whilst I was just sorting out a few bits. But I think we're gonna go and feed her and finish up in here. I don't actually think we'll film anything else in this room now until it's done, which considering we've not ordered a cot yet, might be a few days. <laughs> but it's looking amazing, I'm so happy with it. Yesterday, when I came upstairs and saw that Chris was using this as a pain floor protector, I almost, well I did freak out. So oh, this is Jace's play mat that he was actually gifted from a lovely little small business on Instagram called Tiddlers and Nippers. And I was like, what on earth are you using that for that for? Um, but he said, oh, don't worry, it's fine. I'm not going to get anything on it. And to be fair, he didn't. And I've used it today and I got a little splodge on. And let me tell you guys, it wipes off easier from this mat than it does the carpet. <laughs> so it's a good job that was put down. But I just wanted to give it a bit another shout out because it's another use for this amazing mat. Obviously, it's not intended to be used as a floor protector when you're painting. But... We've used this for so much now, like multi-purpose. Yeah, so Jace loves supplying it with his cars. It's great for under high chairs. It's great for when you go on picnics because yeah. it comes in like a small bag and it's just a really good all use play mat type thing. So it's from a little Instagram, like I said, a little, oh my gosh, my brain today. <laughs> a little business on Instagram called Tiddlers and Nippers. This was gifted to us. Um, right, I'm gonna get Mila, go get a massive giant glass of water and probably do not much else for the day because yeah. it's almost tea time and I need to make dinner. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Good girl, give me a smile. <laughs> Why are you so serious? Crack a smile. Go on. <laughs> no, you want to. Yes, you do. Go on. <laughs> Are you trying? Are you trying? Cheeky girl, you kitty. You getting excited. So I wasn't sure, but turns out I actually love it. It's really nice. Except I'm a fool and I put the top of this unit on upside down today. What a hero. Got nice uh, screw holes all over it. <laughs> Nicely covered up by Sarah's baskets, but I'm gonna have to take this apart and flip it over. I have absolutely no idea how I did that. So don't even ask. Jace's favourite spot. Every single night. <laughs> Jace. Uh, little man, excuse me. Little fool. Jace River. Jace River. Jace. It's my boy. You don't ignore daddy. What you tell me? What you know? <laughs> oh, he's a teenager already. <laughs> teenager on his little arm, arm rest. Loving life. And Mila is on her little rest where she's actually been for the last hour being a really, really chill. She's been, don't you today, think she's been such a good girl today? Yeah. I don't like using that term, but I do, I do feel like. No, not good girl, but she's. No, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's what the I heck? say good all the time, but I do say she's been good, blah, blah, blah. But I've said before, like. Makes, makes it out like you make out like they'd be naughty. On no, she's been a chill girl today is what she's I mean. She's been really chilled today. Yeah. Like, she slept and then she slept on Isabel. Basically, today's the first day, I'll say this to Isabel, that number one, I've been able to eat dinner without her on me. Number two, I've Who been able on? to make <laughs> on you, but that's not on me. I feel like today though, I was like, I've pushed her to be on like other people, not that nobody else wants her. But I do spend, because I'm breastfeeding, I was saying to Chris before, it's kind of easy to be like, well, you're feeding her, so you need to have her. But when she's been fed, if she's with me, she's, she's, she cries for more and more and more. And then I think she must be hungry, but I know she's not. So when I know she's had a good feed, sometimes it's good for you to take over because then she'll fall asleep on you. Or like Isabel did today, so I could do the painting. 
and she just fell asleep and I don't know I kind of feel like today she's had good sleeps whereas when she's with me all day she just constantly wants to feed all day <laughs> it's not just that though but when she's been with me and stuff she's been really chill like she's not been crying she's been just looking yeah. around she smiled at me a million times today and Isabel as well Isabel's been downstairs a lot today and she's been like can I hold her and she's held her and then me and Isabel got to make dinner together did you have her at dinner time? You yeah yeah dinner time. I mean, as well, we're making dinner. We had a good chat today, and it's just, I don't know. And then I've taken her. It's just been a really nice day today. I feel like I got I got to a bedroom. I painted. I kind of feel like I did stuff today. And yeah, I, I put the like unit up wrong. Wee. You did put the unit up wrong. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like the last month's been really, like, really lovely and amazing getting to know Mila. I'm, like, sat with her and snuggling her, but I, I feel now, like, ready to, like, do stuff, <laughs> you know? I want to do stuff during the day. I don't want to spend all day just sat not doing anything. And today I really feel like I got to do stuff today, which felt really nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure new mums know exactly what I mean. It sounds like I'm moaning about my baby and having to sit with her, and that's not what I'm talking about at all. But when you spend a whole month just sat like this, you know, you, you just kind of want to get like yourself back. I, I am still Sarah, as well as a mum. And I've loved today. It's been really nice. So for any adults, only adults watching this video right now that might also be watching Handmaid's Tale on all four, we're on season four and I'm like, oh my god. Season three, the last finale episode is the best episode of like any show I've ever watched. That show is freaking weird, but that show is good as well. It's one of them shows that is like, really? You'd be so annoyed but. if we watched it real time and we had to wait like a year for the next season to come out. Yeah. But so we are about to run out of seasons because there's only four seasons and we're into next episode two now. So we've only got like 12 episodes left. You look like a ripe potato. <laughs> <laughs> that camera angle makes me look like a proper spud. No, you don't. You're all good, man. You're fine. You're fine. Anyway, guys, what we're about to say is that we are going on a crazy trip tomorrow. Looking forward to it very much so. No doubt everybody here will be too. Oh, another thing I managed to do today. Finalise my autumn. Autumn yeah, yeah. baby and me orders and a few fidget and me things, things the girls have really want, been nagging at me to organise and sort out for fidgets and me. So Sarah's been Sarah's been umming and ahhing for weeks now about her autumn winter range ranges for baby me and she's got some incredible things coming also for fidgets and me too and some other really cool stuff that is definitely gonna if it's not trending right now it definitely will be trending we for hope. sure we hope we hope yeah we hope. But it's something Esme has been, she's found and, and she's been playing with and uh, yeah. We're taking really a gamble cool. on it, but I think it'll be worth it. Yeah, so keep an eye out because there's going to be some very exciting things coming for autumn, winter, Christmas, all that sort of stuff coming on Baby Me very, very soon. And um, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for a very, very fun packed day. And, oh, no. and that's it. I made it awkward again. <laughs> you always do that. Why do say and? You can't <laughs> say and. And. And nothing. And, Good and nothing. night. <laughs> I'll have to go get Mars ice cream now. I've already had three. Two. I've got like 25 in the freezer. I'm like, yes. Mm. I'm only joking, he's not really eating three. I've had none. I know. You're telling me I've had three for me behind me like you that. Didn't me. You didn't hear me to hang you back, so it sounded like you just did actually did have three. Ah. Uh, okay, good night, guys.